Well, it's been a very quiet Saturday, but that is all ahead of some strong storms all associated with a low pressure system off into the Great Plains, bringing in some cooler air and some strong storms for our Saturday evening. Right now, though, we've got some heavy clouds across the area. Those clouds are actually keeping the air a little more stable for us. The less clouds we have, the more sunshine. That means we have more energy in the air for these systems to become stronger. So luckily, these clouds are a good sign as far as just how strong these storms can be for us this evening. But we're up to 86, so definitely still warm, pretty humid as well. Winds out of the south bringing in more of that humidity and warmth, which is energy to fuel those storms as well. So look at this. We're almost around 15 miles per hour for most of us, 14 miles per hour in Starkville, Columbus. But look at these gusts. They are much stronger, upwards of around 25 miles per hour for many of us. And that's all fueling this storm system as well. But I want to track this out for you because wind is the main threat for our Saturday evening as these storms approach. We'll be around 20 mile per hour wind gusts throughout Saturday evening around dinner time. But after sunsets, notice how when this front approaches with all of those storms, we're talking about wind gusts up to around 35 miles per hour. Even some of us likely seeing around 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So that could be very strong. If you have any outdoor objects, any outdoor pets, anything outside, make sure that is inside as these storms are approaching very strong wind gusts. Look at that here, 11 PM, even in through those early morning hours around midnight and after around 40 mile per hour winds are likely for many of us. This does taper off by Sunday morning, a much milder wake up for your Sunday into the start of the week. The Storm Prediction Center has placed us in a slight level two a severe weather risk. That's bullseye across the entire state of Mississippi, including all of our viewing area. And most of that is going to be the wind. Look at that. Damaging wind is where we are seeing the highest threat. Tornadoes cannot be ruled out. If we do see some likely embedded in the storms, very quick spin up, something to keep in mind. So make sure you have a way of receiving alerts tonight just in case, but once again, the main threat is just damaging winds, not necessarily a tornado but the tornado cannot be ruled out. Hail is on the low end today. Still a possibility of some flooding as well, just because of how fast this rain is going to come down. So take a look at how fast it's going to be approaching. We're very dry for your Saturday evening. Before sunset, some more clouds will be building in. By 7 p.m. after sunset, that's really when we're starting to see a few of those pop-up showers. So some of us are starting to feel that. But by 9 p.m. and onward, that's when we're really seeing these stronger systems approach. By 10, 11 p.m., lots of rain, lots of thunder, strong winds moving through the area 1 a.m. to around 5 a.m. still the whole swath of the area getting plummeted with lots and lots of rain so notice how that moves in though that will be out by Sunday morning so if you have any Sunday morning plans heading out to church you likely won't even need a rain jacket a few spotty showers are possible but that will all push through and it is really going to quickly move out bringing in some cool dry air and our Sunday and Monday is going to be very seasonable feeling like fall but here's why we could still have some flash flooding we're seeing almost an inch in just a few hours from Saturday to Sunday in Aberdeen, Eupora, Ackerman, Louisville. So keep that in mind. Many of us at least three fourths of an inch. So lots of rain in just a few short hours. Good news is though, we're going to be dry to start off the week and I don't expect us to even break the 80 point. So that's a great news for the rest of the week. Very fall like 76 for your Monday, 78 for Tuesday. A few spotty showers are possible Tuesday. We'll have a very dry week ahead of our next weekend rain chance there for Friday and Saturday. But for now, you'll need that rain jacket this evening. But the rest of the week, very fall-like and seasonable after that front pushes through.